Hi, church family. Pastor Eric here with today's Word from the Word. I'm so thankful that Pastor Sean preached on 1 Corinthians chapter 12, the first section of it, and as we begin to deal with spiritual gifts over the next three or four weeks. And there's a lot of misunderstanding. <clears throat> there's a lot of controversy around it. And I really appreciate the job he did with that. A couple of things that I found helpful and encouraging is right at the beginning of the passage. It says, now about spiritual gifts, I don't want you to be ignorant. Ignorant is not a, a bad thing. It's not an evil thing. Ignorance seems, simply means to be without knowledge. And what the Apostle Paul was saying to the Corinthian church was that <clears throat> there are things to learn about what spiritual gifts mean within the Christian faith. They had come out of a, a place of idolatry where things like tongues uh, were a normal part of worship in some of the, the religions that were already around. Only it wasn't tongues. It, they were called ecstatic utterances. In other words, they were babbling. Uh, they were meant to, to show a great amount of spirituality. They were very theatrical and very demonstrative. And so they were there to put on a show. And what Paul wants to do with the Corinthian church is help them come out of their old ways and see that God's use of tongues is different than what pagans were doing at that point in time. So let's keep in mind that, that when God does things, he does it purposefully. Our God is not a God of disorder, but rather a God of order. We're going to catch that in coming chapters. And, and that they're always purposeful. Now, different people have different convictions around uh, things like tongues and other spiritual gifts. And as Pastor Sean pointed out, at our church, we seek to say, what does the Bible say? What is it clear about? What is it not clear about? And there are many places where uh, people have convictions because the Bible isn't as crystal clear as we might want it to be. And different people have different thoughts and ideas. What we want to do is say, uh, let's take a look at our Bible and let's give uh, grace and, and liberty where people have different convictions. Let's not impose our personal convictions on other people. But instead, let's, let's honor and love one another by being kind, by being compassionate, by not imposing. And, and that's what the first part of the passage talks about. Um, and there, and then Pastor Sean talked about the various gifts that exist there. And as he, as he pointed out, we have a church paper on that that kind of shows where we hold our position on certain gifts, how we define them. Other people might, other people might have different uh, definitions. They're the ones that we feel the most comfortable with based on our understanding of the original languages, of the context, of the culture, all the things that go into to studying well. So I pray that in the coming weeks, we would maintain open minds. Many people come into a particular study of controversial subjects with, with strongly held convictions. And my only question, and I had to address it myself, uh, for a long time, early in my life, I didn't think that many of the spiritual gifts still existed. Uh, I believed in cessationism. And after looking closely at the Bible, I'm not so convinced anymore. If somebody wants to hold that position, I'm going to honor them and respect them. And we'll agree to, to maybe not have exactly the same belief system around it. But it doesn't mean we can't be in fellowship. It doesn't mean we can't honor each other. So let's see what the Bible says. Let's keep an open mind and let's move forward because we are gifted and we are gifted in such ways as to build up the body of Christ in the kingdom of God. And the question for us isn't what they are and how they work, but rather, are we using what God has given us? I pray that you're doing that and I pray that your week is a great one. God bless. Have a great day.